Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Grim Fandango, episode 11 I do believe we're on. My mathematics is holding right. Last time we le left off we were sat here having just met Dom and Meche again, and sad loss of Glottis. Also, Manny appears to be having some sort of seizure or fit, I'm not too sure about that one. Anyway, we've woken up in this office, so uh, let's have a look at this desk. I like my old desk better. Uh, it's a nice desk. Not moving any furniture today. No drawers. Nothing in desk. Hello there. This is sad. We have angel Hola, children. angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our parents? Our parents? Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? My name is Manny Calavera. What's you? Mr. Harley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. Oh, that was irritating. There's nothing worse than children crying. Except for maybe children, in general. I didn't trick anybody. trick anybody? Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain Let it. me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! Mesh is my friend. my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! What are you doing in the cage, What are anyway? you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? I'm here to help. Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. My hands aren't too big. Oh, My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Meche you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. But is not a bad work. Bad word. I'm in the maritime union. I'm in the maritime union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. I just need a tiny hammer, that's all. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> oh. I'm so gonna make sure you suffer from that. Little shits. I'm gonna help you get out of the cage. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchett. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. There's a nice, nice cage, cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. Nah, I'm more of a canary man, to be honest. Besides that, I'm gonna take Meche I'm out. I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? Oh no, 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 when I'm a dick to them, they find it amusing. I'm here to help you. You can't do it. We have... She'd be so... Some... You... Okay. Okay, well... At least we have the hammer now. Yep, annoy the children. Get a mini hammer. 
shake the hammer at them. Here, take my hammer. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, tap, tap, no backs. You suck. It's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? Uh, ice would be nice. I like the nude. Well, it's the best I could pull together out here. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get decent fabric and silk stockings on a deserted factory island on the edge of the world? Hmm. No. No, I don't. I can't imagine it's a great import location. Go on. Let's get out of here. Come on. We're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after the commission now. I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? He's my arch enemy. Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What makes you think what? I have a gun? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. I don't work for this. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Okay, we need a gun. Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I, think we, I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have, a lot, I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining. You have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> me? About what? Why did you take me out with that champagne? Why bottle? did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up here. Yes. So, why would I have ended up here if I'm working? Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Those kids in the cage? Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> so why did you run out of my so office? So why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. And what were you doing the whole year? And what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Has, he hurt Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. I don't have a gun. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? All right, we need a gun, but uh, in order to get the gun, we need to do a few certain things. Which means fucking about with this ashtray, if memory serves me right. Bingo! Oh, my stockings! They're ruined! And this was my best hair! Oh, hello. You try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Sorry about your stockings. Hey, I'm ready to. I would. Listen. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay? 
Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. Ah, oh, we've got Paris. Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and BB work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. Okay, so there's Domino. Let's kill him with a scythe. Please put... Thank you. Let's attack him with paratimes. Nah, his calves are way too boxy. <laughs> I would never wear these. Let's attack him with a smaller hammer. Please put that, that. <laughs> okay, you can take out the tiny hammer if you want. No, I don't think I could take his laughter a second time. I don't really want to do that. He seems completely unaware of how close I am to escape. Domino. Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Issy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss Hector that way... You killed my best friend. You killed my best friend? The demon? Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. Oh, you're gonna pay for that one. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried a Puerto Zapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. What makes you think that's gonna happen? What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work. Take it from me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. Skull? I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns. I have all the transportation. And I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? I'm taking Meche out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in the petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my, uh, dungeon. Wouldn't you say? Nice island, though. Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Can you keep kids in a cage? How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double-end tickets, now can we? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would route all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the Pearl. I knew you were getting all the good clients. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod, which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, 
Hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. It's not a hot rod, it's a decent car. So it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away. But I fixed that. One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. But you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? Well, I got to get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Okay, so yeah, we're running a slave ring and racketeering and several things which I think are pretty standard on the United Nations list of crimes against humanity. Yeah. Not pleasant. Oh well, down we go. And through the side here, where we can... Oh, no, I think I'm in the wrong location. Yep, I'm in the wrong location. We want the other side. Following the guiding lights. Hey, it's Chippito. Why I oughta... Guide you. Why I oughta... He does not seem pleased. Stupid chisel! Rickin' frickin'! I'll bet all these miners were brought Hold here by that octopus. Rickin' frickin'! Lay down your tools! We're busting out of here! Man, if I had only gotten that book back from Terry, I could really start some trouble here. Social revolution. Hey, Chapito! Chapito seems a little overpowered by his choice of tools. Chapito! Huh? Ooh! Oh, you is it? Why, I oughta look at my eyebrows. You really weren't standing in a very safe place. Well, you really weren't standing in a very safe place. Well, neither are you right now, amigo. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. Nice drill. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How did you get a bust How'd you get a bust off? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Where'd you get booty? booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins. You people and your fancy boats never know about it, because you just never stop and look. I'll buy your way Give out. me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bust all. I want to trade, trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? A drink. A drink. Ha! We're swimming in the biggest drink there is. Drinks aren't a hot commodity down here. Sorry. A hug. A hug? Mm, nope. That's the one thing I ain't got for you. My friend Glottis. My friend Glottis oh. to be alive. What? What happened? He went over the edge. Oh, stay away from the edge, I tell you. It's dangerous. I seen whole ships go over it in my time. Their engines in full reverse, trying to drop anchor. But the current, you can't fight her. So stay back. Towel. Hey, you funny guy, chalkhead. A boat. A boat. There you go again with the boats. You know I don't like them. Why do you have to needle me? Get me some stockings. How about a pair of nice silk stockings? Ah, oh, now there's a high ticket item. I might be able to get you some, but I gotta tell you, you couldn't afford it. 
A gun? A gun. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? My scythe? My scythe? You'd be willing to part with that? Uh, no. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. All right, so that's the reason we were nicking these items to get more items. Yo, Pito, have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, a little chipper, you're okay. Like a little chipper. Ah! Quit. How do you get a little chipper? I'm getting or trade something. I want what, what you be uh think you got well no but practically everything else. Well go br All right. Go on to Mississippi. Ah hey, sweet check Mary. Out the hosiery. Silk stockings, what can you give me? Say, these are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Brautella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey. Yeah, we've got a gun now. La -dee -dee -dee. Oh, Virginia. Ah, my first Brautella gun. I don't. Yeah, that's the edge of the world. We really don't want to go down there. Just me and little Chipper. Oh, Virginia! Alright, so now we have a gun and a high power chipping device. Which we can do something amusing with. Hey, Kittles, check out my bone saw. <laughs> well, that was amusing. <laughs> By amusing, I mean completely abhorrent. Mache! Here, what good's a relationship without trust? True, a relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go! Michi, you don't know what you- I know exactly what I'm doing, now move! Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. It really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... see? I'll shoot there you, you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm gonna crack you open like a fake wing boss. I'm gonna... Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker, but a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. Oh, that was unfortunate. Not even gonna ask where I got a gun Domino! from. Domino! Hey, sport. How's the uh, escape going? Fuck you. What do you do? With what her? did you do with her? I thought she needed a little uh, time out. That's all. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Screw you, dummy. All right. It's me. Now here we have a wonderful. Domino, door. you'd better let me out of here. Hey. Yeah, th this really isn't gonna work. I'm warning you, Domino. Hence the reason we. Got... I think I'm running out of air. Y you don't have lungs. Pugsy! He's in a cage. Hey! Ah! Must have hit a major circuit. Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. Bingo. 
I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel. I can't. Right, here we go. So, starting from the top. in some kind of coherent order. Nope. Oh shit, I hope I've got these the right way around. Actually, no, I don't. I don't have these right way around at all. Oh yeah, yes I do. Oh, I can use the keyboard, that makes life so much easier. Basically, we've got to align them. So, we can stick the scythe through here. And open the door. Jamming the tumblers, so I can't move the wheel. Ta da! Tumblers jammed. Ah. All right, Mechi, you can come out now. Mechi. Excellent. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I think we can leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Jabber and Magpie playing Grim Fandango. Unfortunately, Mechi has disappeared. And there's a bloody big axe. So, join me next time, next episode, we shall be playing a bit more and trying to figure out what to do with a giant axe, finding Meche, and escaping an island. Adios for now, amigos.